Okay, in this particular question, they're asking you a very simple concept. They want you to use the data analysis tool pack where you're going to lo locate descriptive statistics. Now, what I want to walk you through first is if you haven't already done so, first of all, go to your data tab. And when you go to your data tab, it should say data analysis. If it doesn't, then you need to do the following. The following steps, you would go to File, you would go to Options, you would then go to Add-ins. Add-ins sometimes takes a minute or two, and um, once it does uh, open up, then you should have that option. You see how I have Analysis Tool Pack? I'm just going to simply click on Go and make sure that that is checked off. I always check off three of those boxes, but that's because I'm a little bit neurotic. When you do that and go back to data, you'll see the data analysis show up on your top right of your screen. Now, obviously for descriptive statistics, we're looking for um, a specific set of values. So what you would do is you would go to data analysis, descriptive statistics. We're going to do the female first. So. Now your output, um, I selected uh, L6 for my output, so um, basic, basically I want the output to show here somewhere in this area, right? And as far as the input, I'm selecting from B6 to E40 because I want all of the female data which starts here. If I show you real quickly, you'll see how that's... Uh, the row 5 is just the labels. I don't really care for the labels. You could do one column at a time or you could do them, you know, all at once. It's up to you. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select the whole thing. And I'm going to show you one thing that bothers me about this. Take a look. Okay, so there's your data. Alright, according to this, there's the averages for 1, 2, 3, 4 columns, which is what you have here. You have the standard deviation, the median, the mode, the minimum, maximum, everything is there. However, we know that the mean is an average, and here's what I noticed. And I noticed this about the solver, and it always happens. Watch. This is the first column. And I'm just going to ask you to stop for a minute and look at the first column. And look at the value I obtained for the average. Notice that it's slightly off from this. So I question then, okay, well, what if... Instead of doing all of them, let's do just one at a time. So I'm going to do that just below here. So I'm going to go here, and we're going to go back to data analysis. We're going to hit OK, and we're going to change this so that it goes to B40. So I'm putting from B6. Oh, here, let me just do this. Let me just highlight it. B6 to B40. I'm just doing the first, first uh, of the columns for female, which is the weight in September, and I'm going to hit OK. And then it bounces me back to this. So I'm going to leave the data like that, and we're going to assume it's the way it wants it. So let me go ahead and insert another column in here. Okay. So I should have, I need to pick up even more, a couple more spaces here. Okay, so I'm going to go back, and now we're going to do the mail data. So we're going to go to data analysis, we're going to go to descript statistics, hit OK. And this time, my output range is not going to be in the L, it's going to be in G. So I'm going to select all of this to be my output range. I want now to go from 41 down, so I'm going to select my male numbers all the way down, right there, and I'm going to hit OK. And my descriptive statistics is now acquired for males and females. And I'm going to even highlight for you so you can see the slight, very slight. Um, no, that's terrible. Um, let me see. 
if I can get a better color. There we go. So there's the male data compared to the female data. Okay? And so that's the first thing they ask you to do in this web worksheet. Web so next thing you're going to do is we're going to look at um, what they're asking us to answer. So let's look at the first question. So the first question says, in a recent article in Newsweek, it claims that the average weight of women entering college as freshmen is 135 pounds. So they're saying that that mu, um, let's just do since... Um, I'm just going to write U because it's that U, which kind of looks like a U. U equals 135. Okay. And so that's your null hypothesis. And what I need you to remember is the null hypothesis always contains the equality symbol. So in this case, since they're saying that it is, that means it's equal to. It says the staff... Um, at your paper thinks the estimate is too high. At a significance of 0.05, Tesla claimed that the mean weight is actually lower. So your null hypothesis is actually that mu is less than 135. All right, so that is directional hypothesis. They're, um, we're testing the, the claim that the mean weight is actually lower than. Okay, so then if um, we're looking at the average weight of women entering college as a freshman. So let's go back to our data. Let's look at females. Okay, and we're looking at females entering college so that you enter usually in September. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to grab this data and we're going to go with control copy. Bear with me for a second. Let me go back up. So I'm going to control copy all this data. Up to here. All right. So control copy, let me go back because I want to get that 157 back for the guys. Go back to my data type. There it goes. Alright. So I'm going to go back to my hypothesis test. And I'm going to drop my data. Okay, so that didn't copy it off. Hold me for a second. Let's go back. Control hold. See if I can get it to cooperate. Try it one more time. Alright, over there. I'm going to drop it. There it is. Okay. And so we want the descriptive statistics again for this. I already said this is mu is less than because they want it to be less than 135. Okay, we're testing at a significance level of 0.05. We're going to run a T statistic. Okay, so then what we're going to do. is so we're going to use the TI-8384 calculator and we're going to compare our results with um, our technology with our Excel. Alright, so I'm going to for a second while I get the data here. <laughs> okay. So there, what we're looking for here is basically a t-test. We're not doing a confidence interval or anything fancy like that. So we're going to go to Stat. We're going to go to Edit. And under Edit, we're going to let me clear my list out first. We're going to enter our data. And so, with much patience, let's see. 149.9. One forty one point one, one twenty three point five, 
The beauty of a video is if you've already done this, you can just fast forward. If you have not, then work with you. Alright, so I'm just copying the data into the calculator. Alright, 134.5, 134.5, 136.8, 125.7, 127.9, 108.0, one five two point one, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114.6, 138.9, 114
we use that. See how that's also uh, equivalent to 0 0.0028? Notice the S of X. The S of X here is 14.02. Okay, so that's important also. So that means our standard deviation according to this should be about 14.027. 277 where n is equal to 35 and we are testing that t is less than 135 that value is less than 135 okay so let me put this toy away and let's look at the excel sheet so your critical value at 0.05 since it's uh, what we consider a directional hypothesis okay so what you want to do now and what i want to show you is that the, the issue with um, with respect to the t-table and uh, the values that we obtain. So that's your test statistic by the way, the uh, negative 2.9534. Okay, now here, that critical value, you see how that level of significance is 0 0.05? The issue here is, is that it stays at 0 0.05 because of the fact that this is a directional hypothesis. So I'm going to go here and we're going to look at a t-table. There's several t-tables that we can use. Some are easier to follow or at least to be able to read than others. Okay, let's try this one. <coughs> Okay, so since we have 35 uh, data points, we would need uh, one that shows um, more than that. So I need at least, let's see if that one shows better. Okay, this one goes between 30 and 40 degrees of freedom. Um, let's see, I'm looking for the critical. Let me see, maybe this one. And that takes us to 23. I'm trying to get a better table, people. Hang with me here. Here we go. Maybe this one? Let me see. Does that have the other side? No. They're all kind of shorted, shorting me out up here. Let's see. I'm trying to get one that has all of the values. Okay. Well, that's uh, F distribution. That's all I have. Standard normal. Okay, let's try again. No, that's the incorrect here. Let's see. Is this one going to be useful? Maybe. Yes, we have a winner. All right. So since we have 35 data points, look at where I am on it. Easycalculation.com forward slash statistics forward slash t distribution dash critical dash value dash table dot php. This is a good one. So this is a one tail 0.05. And I'm looking at 34 degrees of freedom because we have n at 35. So according to, to this, if I have a critical um, cutoff at 0.05, see where it says 0.05 there? It's not a two-tail, it's a one-tail cutoff. It should be giving us a critical value of 1.6909. So and this is where we start to play with Excel. Okay, so understand that this critical value, I'm going to calculate it over here to not drive you nuts. So if I go T, I'm looking for T dist. Let me see if T dist will give me what I want. So according to this, I'm at negative 
2.9534. With 34 degree of freedom, we want a one tail. Let's see. Nope, I'm not happy. So let's maybe try the positive version of it. I don't know. Ah, 0 0.02083. So this is giving us the area. Remember our area that we obtained was 0 0.002. So that's your critical cutoff, 0 0.00283. Okay. If you go to equals T, and now this time let's go to T inverse. This time I want the probability. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in 0.05 with 34 degrees of freedom. Let's see. That's our critical value. According to this, it should be 2.03224. Let's go back to that table because that table said something else. So that table puts us somewhere here. And that would make that two tail. Oh, five. This is not a two tail, this is a one tail. So what I would argue then in that case is that as you do this um, this work, you remember the two sentences I taught you. And uh, by the way, when you look at a t-test statistic, uh, the negative just indicates that it's in the lower quadrant or the lower left side. Um, but we, we usually use the absolute value of it anyway. So this would be a negative 2.03224 if you use this number. All right. And so um, if you're going to use a critical value, I guess we'll go with a 2.03224. But understand that that's what we obtained with that number. So our value actually is the 1.69 that I originally found. So the rule of thumb is that if P is less than alpha, whatever the P value is, so we would say if, if P or given, I'm trying to get in here, so given P, value, which our p-value is uh, 0 0.0028 according to the calculator, is less than alpha, one tail, and we would say that's 0 0.05, uh, we reject the null hypothesis and conclude, um, in theory, that the claim, there is sufficient evidence but what was the claim originally in this question, I forgot um, let me go back in our question, what was the claim where are we, that's not the question is this the question no, what is the question oh, it's in the actual um, okay, here's our claim test the claim that it's lower than so we have sufficient evidence that there is sufficient evidence to support the claim. So that's what we would um, we would conclude. Again, um, the reasoning behind that is if p is less than alpha, we reject the null. Our p value, which we obtained, was 0 0.0028, and if I leave it there, that should be sufficient. Um, and once again, that's those are the two um, characteristics. Now, as far as the descriptive statistics just for this column, what you're going to do again is you go to draw, or to data, excuse me. We're going to go to data. We're going to go to data analysis. 
we're going to go to descriptive statistics, hit OK. And we don't want any of this, so we can delete all that. And delete this. And now what we want to do is the output range is going to be uh, located here. You can just hold and highlight all that. And your input range is going to be all of column A. And you're going to highlight all of that. And we want all of that that's remaining checked off, including the confidence interval, and go ahead and hit OK. And there's your data. Very good. All right, now, you see how it says the count, according to this, is 34? I find that interesting, because it's going from 4, so we're probably off by a measure. Let me count it out real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 31, 32, 32, 34, 35, I have 35, okay. So this is, is uh, already eliminating one of the data values, which means that we need to run this again. So I think what's happening is it's picking up on the data as the data label as one of the numbers. So let's go ahead and delete this. Okay, now let's do this again. We're doing the easy part last, which is this part. Um, and so here, what we're going to do is I'm going to actually get rid of the data label and since I'm running it from A4 to A38 uh, without the data label it'll change my number. See? See how the count is now 35? And that's correct. Alright, there we are. So one more element to consider here is um, the formula for this. And so I'm going to actually write this formula out for you real quick. I think it'll be quicker than just go ahead. So basically you have an average, whatever the average is. And that is um, the average plus or minus the critical T value, which is alpha divided by 2 times the square root, or in, in this case, um, S of X over the square root of N, in essence. Um, so our average is the 127.9, which I would round it to 128 uh, to keep it simple. And then plus or minus the critical T. Now remember I said to you, because this is a directional hypothesis, we're going to use um, alpha 0.05. So if you say equals T inverse, okay, you notice how I have T inverse here. I'm going to put in the 0.05 because I am not splitting that. And my degree of freedom would be N minus 1, which is 35 minus 1, so 34. And you see how I get uh, that 2.03224? So 2.03224, that is actually the critical value we're going to use. Okay, because what I got originally was um, in relation to the um, estimate. So we're going to take the standard deviation, which in our case, the standard deviation is 14. Point, um, let's leave it at 0, 0.2. If you want to be more accurate, we could leave it at 0, 0.243, it's fine. Divided by the square root of n, n is 35, right? And so the plus and minus of this is what gives us a confidence interval for the test statistic. Alright, if you notice your confidence interval there at 4.8, so it's the mean plus or minus that. Anywho, I just want to make that little connection for you. So 
for this for this uh, this test. Okay, um, I think that takes care of that. Now, if we're looking at two sample means, um, in this case, we're looking at um, now a different set of uh, data here. So the, the data from these two samples independent or dependent. And the thing is, um, men and women, men and women are two separate people. If it were matched pairs, it would be the same person. For example, they would be looking at uh, the same female and comparing the body mass to the weight of the female the same female. That would be independent. Independent is what this is. This is independent because you're looking at men and women. When it's independent, you don't necessarily have to have the same counts. So we need the BMI for men for September. So let's go back to our data. So BMI for men. So that's down this way. Okay, so I'll hold that. Control copy. I'm going back to the sample mean. Control B. That's all the men. And BMI for women for September. So same thing. I'm going to go over here. And BMI for women. So I'm just going to grab all the women's data. For BMI in September. I'm going to control copy and I'm going back to two samples. And I'm dropping it in here. Right. Now, from here, the question uh, stem we're going to have to think about. It says one thing that the editor of your paper wants you to discuss is how BMI is different for men and women. So we're testing whether they're the same or if they're different. And according to this, is there sufficient evidence? Uh, to suggest that the mean BMI for women is less than that of men. So that's the um, alternative hypothesis. So I am just going to say that um, let's call um, this the equivalent of your mu1. That's your mu1 and this over here for the women is going to be your mu2. In other words, the average for men, average for women. So according to the null hypothesis, mu1 would be equal to mu2. There's no difference. But the alternative hypothesis that we're testing is that the, the BMI for women is less than that of men. So that mu1 is greater than mu2, right, would be, in a sense, what they're saying. And so what we're going to run in this case is an equivalent um, hypothesis test using the, the calculator is probably the best option. And so using the calculator, you would need to create two columns. I'm going to go up and I'm going to clear enter. Okay, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the men, the BMI for men in this one, and the BMI for women in this two. And I'm also going to make sure that I have this correctly set up because it should have about, according to this, as many women, and that should be men. Let's just make sure I have this correctly counted. It's really interesting if you look down here, you see where it says 32. So I should have 32 for men for a sample size, right? So n equal to. And for women, let's see. For women, I'm grabbing from here up. So I'm counting this. For women, I should have 35. I don't know why it looked like the women were more. It should be. See? Oh yeah, because the men are less. Yeah, that's fine. Because the men are 32. Okay, very good. So then I'll go ahead and I'll dump these into the calculator. Again, you can fast forward this. You don't need to watch me do this. I would assume.
Goodness, we're just not going to get that number in there, are we? 20, let's try this again. 20 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 20.9 
and then let me move this up. Alright, so I'm at 2173. Yeah, 2173, so 21.89, 18.31, 19.64, and 3.2. 20.63 20 22.03 22.04 22.84 19.5 17.72 21.64 and 15.8 and that's my 30 for fear time, okay? So now you're going to do what's called the 2 you go over here, okay, so you have a 2 sample this is what you have right here, so 2 sample t-tests in essence. Um, we don't have in the question, if you recall, they didn't give us um, the population standard deviation. We are testing this as a 0.01 significance level with directional hypothesis. Okay, now remember I put the men in the, in the sense in list one. So my list one in my calculator are my men. Okay, and so in this two, I put the women. So I just want to make sure that you remember that because this makes a difference in the order in which you do the calculations using the calculator. And so, um, so we're going to go with a two, two sample t-test. So I'm going to click on number four. We're using data and we're using list one, list two. And we are testing that list one in other words, the men is actually greater than mu2. So we're going to go down here and we're selecting that mu1 is greater than mu2. Okay, now you see where it says pooled and not pooled. Um, in this case, we're going to assume yes, it's pooled. Let's see if we go with uh, a draw. Okay, according to this, I have a t-value, a, a, a t-test statistic of 1.4165, and I have a p-value of 0 0.0809. Remember, our alpha is 0 0.01. Okay, and so based on just that, on that alone, um, what does that mean to you? So remember I said that if P is less than alpha, we reject the null. It sounds like we're going to fail to reject the null. So when we talk about a pooled standard deviation, all right, and so in this case, um, what does that mean to you um, from a student perspective? And so the pooled standard deviation is basically a weighted average of the standard deviations for two or more groups. And in other words, they're averaged out. And so you kind of like look at the degrees of freedom as N1 plus N2 minus 2, in a sense, because what you're going to do is you're going to add the two degrees of freedom, or the degrees of freedom is the two sample sizes added together, and then you take away two. And so that's how you would look at a pooled, um, a pooled uh, standard deviation. Um, another way you can look at it, a simpler version, is um, first of all, it's stated in the question. 
And um, the standard error can also be pulled. You can also look at that standard error as a pull standard error, where you have 1 over n1 plus 1 over n2 as your standard deviation is pulled. But in this case, um, it doesn't really... I don't think we have a pulled standard deviation. I think that's what I, I, I stated at the beginning. So when I went to stat test and I went to number four, um, I said no to pulled. Okay, so we're gonna assume that. Okay, so I would say stat test, again, you're going to number four, because it didn't give us a value, and I said, um, let's go with no, and I said, let's go with draw. And when we see the drawing, that is our um, that is our t value, our test statistic. It come it came out to uh, 1.4, 1.4165, 1 and our p value is pretty big. It's at 0.0809, right? And so. Um, that, that would be a fail to reject the null. So again, the p-value of 0 0.0809 and our test statistic comes in at 1.4 1.42 really, but I'm just going to write this uh, the long way so you see it. That's what you have. Now you want your your critical value. If you want your critical value, I'm going to go to equals t inverse Okay, and I want you to go and put in 0.01 because this is one tail. And if we're going to pull the, the values, remember it was uh, 35 and 32? Add it together, that's 67 minus 2, so 65. So we will put 65, enter, and according to this, our critical value cutoff would be 2.6536. Okay, so I would say in this case we would definitely uh, fail to reject a null. So I would say given uh, p-value of 0 0.0809 and our alpha value of 0 0.01, um, so given p-value 0.0809 and our alpha value of 0 0.01, uh, we, we fail, we will fail to reject the null hypothesis. And so it says here, is there sufficient evidence to suggest that the mean BMI for women is less than that of men? And so you would say we would fail to reject the null hypothesis. If I fail to reject the null hypothesis, therefore the BMI, the, or therefore there is not, there is insufficient. Oh my goodness, insufficient evidence to support the claim. I will get this right, there we go. All right, so that's what you would say, um, given this information, okay? And so that takes care of question number two. Now, if I were instead to go to data, and I went to data analysis, why is this thing yelling at me? Let me try to exit out of here. Let me see. Let's try to do. All right. So this time, let me see if I have. There we go. So this is what we're looking for. So we're looking for um, a two-sample uh, test with unequal variances. I don't think we have equal variances here. So hit OK. Variable one will do the men. Variable two, we'll put in the women. Right, let's see what we get when we do this. 
We should match what we got. Our alpha is 0.01. We don't have labels, and um, I'm going to throw the input over here. Uh, let's see where I get happy. Let's go here. Table of results. I hit OK. So according to this, this is what we're getting. Um, it did give me a slightly different... Um, no, it didn't actually. Look at here carefully. The critical T value is 2.65886. That's what we have here. So this matches. Um, our test statistics, 1.4165, and that matches what we obtained. And this being 0.08, so yes, everything sticks. All right. All right, match pairs. Let me do that last uh, question with you so I can record it, and then we're going to start a Zoom session. Here we go. All right, so now in this case, um, look at what this is saying. This is saying that as the focus of the article is on the myth of the freshman 15, consider the data values as April, September to represent the gains or losses in weight over freshman year. And then it says, um, U sub D denote the mean of differences uh, between the two months. And so then it says, test your paper's hypothesis at a significance level of 0.05 that the students are gaining an average of less than 15 pounds over freshman year and thereby discrediting along the long-held belief. So when you go to your data, this is a match pair because he... We're going to take all of the female data from, and they were looking at just September, and they're looking at specifically the weight. Okay, so yes, I'm going to go back here, and we're looking at just the weight of September. So we're going to basically grab this column, control copy, and we're going to come over here, and I'm just going to throw it in here. Um, this is the September weight. Sorry about that. Let's go back. Let's do this. This one play nice for me. Alright, so here I have the male and the female data regardless. I should just love technology. Alright, so we're just gonna go here and I'm gonna grab all of the all of the column because they're not asking us to compare the two. We're comparing months, literally. B B72. B6 to B72. So control copy, let's try it again. Took me a minute. I'm gonna go over here. And now we're gonna do the same thing. Yeah, wait for April. Let's keep that there. Like this. All right. And we're gonna go there. I use this machine quite a bit so it's like freaking out on me from all the stuff that it has in it. Alright, so there's, there we go. Did you notice that it keeps changing the numbers on me and that's why I keep having to go back? It's not anything I'm doing, it's just the machine's just spazzing out. Try again.
Keep your fingers crossed. Here we go. And I can just get rid of this. I just clear the content. Uh, and so, um, what content do I do? Alright, so what we're going to do is, according to this, the focus of the article, consider the data values as April. To September to represent the gains and losses in weight over the freshman year um, to your hypothesis. Okay, so it says um, that the students are gaining an average of less than uh, 15 pounds over freshman year. So we are, if you notice here, the, see the label there where it says weight after? So we're going to do after and before. So this is going to basically equal this minus this. Okay, that's what that does. And then we can literally <coughs> just copy this all the way down. Mm -hmm. Hold Should be subtracting all the way down, probably. Top of the Let's see. Yeah. So this is D73 minus B73, and all of this so should be the next one, B73. Oh, perfect. B74, all the way down. So now we're looking at um, notice the D bar is the mean of the differences. So basically this is going to be equal to the average, let me double click on that, and so if you notice this is the average of um, F8 all the way to F74. Go ahead and hit equals. Mm -hmm. And then the standard deviation of differences, I'll come back to that in a second. And so we're basically running another um, another test. Let me show you technology. Let's go to technology because there's other ways you can do this. There's other calculators you can use. So this is a T p-test for matched pairs. Okay, what's really cool about this is that there's um, several uh, calculators that are available online and all you got to do is drop the, the data. And so, um, let's see here, I'm trying to make my life p-test for matched pairs. Pair t-test calculators, t-test calculator for in, for dependent means. That's what I was referring to. This is awesome. So this is um, basically an online calculator that's available to you. And so um, I'm going to show you this example of this calculator. And this is only one of um, several that are available online. That's the first one. Click the copy. I'm going back to my calculator. Let's see here. I'll call that trigger one. I'll call your data. Go back. Um, I'm going to go here. I'm going to grab this from the bottom up. So we go here up. Let's try it again. Go here up. Alright, and so just for the record, there's tons of, of um, technology out there that will help you with stats. And Sociostats is one of the better uh, of the calculators you can use. 
can't tell us more time with this. Oh, it keeps losing its grip. It's so strange. I'm just trying to grab the data just for a little for a second. Okay, come on, two more to go. You can do this. Let's see. Can you see? Yay! Yeah. <coughs> now it's changing the data. That's awesome. Let's go back. I really don't understand why this is doing this. Um, let me try again. Okay. I don't like this changing the data because now our numbers are going to be off. Let me go back. Okay. Maybe now I'll do it. Let's copy it all the way down. Right, it is. All right, so we're gonna go here and here and here. But I need to make sure that all that other stuff is gone. So let me delete this real quick. Right, so let's go back. I need to be lined up, that's another factor. Because remember, if it's matched, it's kind of like looking at XY pairs. So it has to match. We're doing a 5.05 five, uh, .05 and there, according to the question that we're answering, um, you need to be careful with the question because our question dictates what we're looking at. So as the focus of the article on the myth of the fre freshman 15, consider the data values as April to September to represent the gains or losses in weight of refreshment year. It says let use of B denote the mean of the differences. Test your paper's hypothesis at the 0.05 significance uh, level that students are gaining an average of less than 15 pounds. Less than 15 pounds. So that's directional hypothesis. So if that is the case, um, and we go back here, we're going to do a one-tailed. I'm going to let this thing calculate it and we'll see how good it is. Okay. So according to this, it says that we're at 2.4. It's giving us our, our differences. Okay, this is 2.6, I was correct. Our mu sub zero is, is uh, uh, our mean of differences is, should be zero. Our variance is given to us. And the calculation, so this is saying that result is significant at the 0.05 significance level. So we should reject the null. Okay, so there's everything you need to answer this question in particular, okay? So um, when you answer your questions, go back to your Excel sheet and look at what they're asking. And so, um, let's see here. Um, our standard deviation, uh, what was that, 1.105? Okay. Um, the null hypothesis is basically going to be that, um, assuming that's that the weight in April, so let's go with mu A um, is equal to mu, uh, let's call it uh, September, so mu S. And so the alternative hypothesis is, according to our question, Does your paper's hypothesis that students are gaining an average of less than 15 pounds? So they're gaining less than 15 pounds. So according to that hypothesis, um, what would you say here? Um, mu A. is less than 15 pounds 
or less than a mu mu s and then your critical value is given to you your value your t value is at 2.49 uh, 2.49 that's stated your p value is stated as well at point zero zero seven six two so we can round it you know what just for the sake of visual we'll leave it long and then your critical value you would say equals t inverse let me double click on t inverse we're going to go to the probability of 0.05 because it is directional and the degrees of freedom so in this case um, you would say 66 would be your degree of freedom and that would be your critical cutoff but just looking at the alpha is enough to make you aware of what the difference should be so in this case um, your value should be 2.6 minus 0 over 1.05 Critical alpha, what do we say the critical alpha value was? 1.99966. Which again, I you know have always suggested you. My question here is that in the way they're wording this, if you use U of D instead, that might actually be more appropriate for this. The mu of difference is equal to 15 pounds, a uh, gain of 15 pounds, and this would be the mu of D, the mu of the differences would be less than 15. So you can you can write that better. I think that's better stated that way. Alright, now table of results. Now here's the, the where the computer comes in to do everything we've done using calculators and I'm just giving you a varied way, you know, uh, various ways you can approach this. So Again, this is a match pair, so we're going to go in this case um, paired samples, and we'll go to OK, and then we're going to input our range. So we're going to come over here. Oh God, no, this again. Let's see if it works. No, of course not. Be nice. Oh no, people. No, no, we're going to stop here. We want to do that all the way to 74. Let me see if I can type it in. B64 to uh, so B64 colon uh, B74, right. and then the second input range would be B. It doesn't make sense. Why would B64 and B8? Right. Okay. Okay. And then do from B8. It likes the dollar sign, so I'm just going to do the dollar sign thing. So notice that we're at B8 and all the way to B. Hold on again. And then 74. B dollar sign. 74 colon. And now, same thing again. You're going to do dollar sign D, dollar sign 8, colon. Dollar sign D uh, dollar sign or is it seventy four? Oh my god, I don't want to make that mistake. Alright, that should be over here. I think it's probably talking. So dollar sign D dollar sign A colon dollar sign D dollar sign 74 so it should match we do want a 0.05 because it states it right here 0.05 we're not recognizing data labels and I want the output right here in uh, M and use M9 hit OK alright All right, and there you go there's your information so you notice our critical T, 1.9966. Um, you see how we got a T statistics uh, of 1. Point. Now don't get upset over here because you see how that's positive 2.49? That's just rounded. That's all that is. 
and they use the absolute value of it because we always use the absolute value of t. 67 observation, hence the degrees of freedom is 66. And the p-value is 0 0.0078. Um, it is a little bit larger than what we got, but um, still significant. So, Rule of thumb, p less than alpha, reject the null, or if the ov is greater than the cv, uh, we reject the null. So compare the critical t-value, you could see that the critical, our, our ov, our observed value is greater than the critical value. So um, in that case, we would state the same hypothesis um, in that we um, are going to fail to reject the null, but there is um, no difference. Um, the, the, the approximate weight should be about 15. There is not significant evidence to support the claim that the mean of differences would be less than 15 pounds. All right, indicating that the students um, are likely gaining weight between their freshman um, term and their not and their ending term. So again, this is dependent because you're comparing the same same to same. Okay. All right. I hope this is helpful. I know this is not the easiest of sections, but if you take your time and you read the chapter, look at the examples, and listen to this video, you can hang on. Um, I think you'll be okay on this particular assignment.